square and square roots. Basically, square of a number is the product of that number with itself. Suppose, n is the number. Its square will be denoted as n square. And it read as n squared or n raised to 2. Value of n square is equal to n into n. Now we know that 25 is a perfect square. Then what will be 5 called as? Well, 5 is the square root of the square number 25. In this chapter, we will learn about square and square roots and how to find them. The first topic, square of a number. If a natural number m can be expressed as n square, where n is a natural number, then m is the square root or perfect square. That is, if m equal to n square, here m and n are natural numbers. Example, 81 equal to 3 into 3 into 3 into 3. That will be 3 square into 3 square. Again, it will be written as 3 into 3, the old square. That will be 9 square. Hence, 9 is the square root of 81. Now, we are going to see the next topic, properties of square root. Here is a table that has squares of number from 1 to 10. See it. If we see the above results carefully, we can conclude that numbers ending with 0, 1, 4, 5, 6 or 9 at units place are perfect square. None of these end with 2, 3, 7 or 8. So numbers that end with 2, 3, 7, 8 are not perfect squares. Thus numbers like 122, 457, 183 and 928 are not perfect squares. Let's see the another topic. Once digit in square of a number. See that. The once digit in the square of number can be determined if the once digit of the number is known. That will be shown this table. Another one. The number of zeros at the end of a perfect square is always even and double the number of zeros at the end of the number. The example of single zero and double zero shown here. Next one. The square of an even number is always an even number and square of an odd number is always an odd number. That is also shown here. Moving on to the next topic. Interesting patterns of square root. Number between square numbers, there are 2a non-perfect square numbers between the square of two consecutive natural numbers n plus n plus 1. Between 22, that will be 4 and 32, that is 9, extends to 5, 6, 7, 8. That may be written as 2 into 2 equal to 4 non-square numbers. That also between 3 square, that will be 9 and 4 square, it will be 16. That extends to 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Here, 2 into 3 equal to 6, that is non-square numbers. Next topic, adding consecutive odd numbers. See this table. This table shows adding consecutive odd numbers. So, we can conclude that the sum of first in odd natural numbers in n square or we can say if the number is a square number, it has to be the sum of successive odd numbers. Let's see an example. Consider the number 36. Successively subtract 1, 3, 5, 7, etc. from 36. That is shown here. At last, we get 36 is a perfect square. Now we are going to see a small topic, shortcut method of squaring a number. We can use below two methods for calculating square of any natural number. 
Let's consider the formula a plus b the all square. That is a square plus b square plus 2ab. The logic behind using this formula is to convert square of unknown number into square of a known number. Consider the example 53 the square. That will be 50 plus 3 the whole square. Put the formula on this part that will be 50 square plus 3 square plus 2 into 50 into 3. That will be 250 plus 9 plus 300. That will be 2809. Consider another example. Find the square of 99. 99 square equal to 100 minus 1 the whole square. That will be 100 square plus 1 square minus 2 into 100 into 1. That will be 10,000 plus 1 minus 200. So the answer will be 9,801. Now we are going to see the another topic, square roots. Finding the square root is inverse operation of squaring. If 9 into 9 equal to 81, that is 9 square equal to 81, then the square root of 81 equal to 9. In other words, if p equal to q square, the q is called the square root of p. The square root of a number is the number which when multiplied with itself gives the number as the product. The square root of a number is denoted by the symbol square root. See this. For example, root 81 equal to 9. And consider another section. Now we are going to see the properties of square root. Number 1. The square root of an even perfect square is even and that of an odd perfect square is odd. Number 2. Since there is no number whose square is negative, the square root of negative number is not defined. Number 3. If a number ends with an odd number of zeros, then it cannot have a square root which is a natural number. Number 4. If the unit digit of a number is 2, 3, 7 or 8, then the square root of that number, that is a natural number, is not possible. And the last property is number 5. If m is not a perfect square, then there is no integer n such that square root of m is n. Okay, moving on to the next topic, finding square root through repeated subtraction. Recall the pattern formed while adding consecutive odd number. See this pattern. Sum of first n odd numbers is equal to n square. The above pattern can be used to find the square root of the given number. Let's see that. Number 1. Obtain the given perfect square whose square root is to the calculated. Let the number be a. Step 2. Subtract from it successively 1, 3, 5, 7, 9 till you get 0. Number 3. Count the number of times the subtraction is performed to arrive at 0. Let the number be n. Number 4, write root a equal to n. Next one, finding square root through prime factorization. In order to find the square root of a perfect square by prime factorization, we follow the following steps. Step number 1, obtain the given number. Step 2, resolve the given number into prime factors by successive division. Step 3, Make pairs of prime factors such that both the factors in each pairs are equal. Step number 4. Take one factor from each pair and find their product. Step number 5. The product obtained is the required square root. Ok friends, let's see that through a simple example. Find the square root of 400. First find the prime factors that will be 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 5 into 5. That is equal to root 400. It will be 2 into 2 into 5. That will be 20. Friends, 
the prime factorization is shown here and the last method finding the square root by division method when the numbers are large even the method of finding square root by prime factorization becomes slightly difficult to overcome this problem we use long division method example consider the following steps to find the square root of 784 step 1 Place a bar over every pair of digits starting from the digit at one's place. If the number of digits is odd, then the leftmost single digit 2 will have a bar. Thus we have root 784. Step 2. Find the largest numbers whose square is less than or equal to the number under the extreme left bar. That is 2 square less than 7 less than 3 square. Take this number as the divisor and the quotient with the number under the extreme left bar as the dividend. Here 7. Divide and get the remainder. Here 5. The process of step 2 is shown here. Step 3. Consider this process. Bring down the number under the next bar that is 84 in this case to the right of the remainder. So the new divide is 384. Step 4. Gives the largest possible digit to fill the blank which will also become the new digit in the quotient such that when the new divisor is multiplied to the new quotient the product is less than or equal to the dividend that is shown in this process. In this case 47 into 7 equal to 329 as 48 into 8 is equal to 384. So we choose the new digit as 8. Get the remainder. And the final step, step number 5 is, since the remainder is 0 and no digit are left in the given number, therefore root 784 equal to 28. Okay friends, this is the end of the chapter square and square roots. We will meet again with another max chapter through another video. Till that, goodbye.